Doris Humphrey, 1895 to 1958. Humphrey's early years, she was born in 1895 near Chicago to her journalist father and a concert pianist mother. She began be studying ballet when she was quite young. She was most inspired, however, by her K-12 dance teacher, who was holding concerts of interpretive dance. She took a leave of absence from her high school and toured dancing in a concert group. She later returned to high school, finished, graduated, and for financial reasons, she opened her own dance studio. Her mother acted as her manager and her accompanist on the piano. Humphrey had an interesting relationship with Denishon. In 1917, she went to Los Angeles to a summer program offered there by Denishon. Her talent was soon recognized and she was given solos. For financial reasons, again, she started teaching at the school where she stayed for the next 10 years. She choreographed her famous scarf dance while at Denishon and she toured with the company throughout the United States and the Orient. In 1928, Doris Humphrey meets another student, Charles Weidman. They eventually leave Denishon together as they feel that it was colorful but superficial. They craved something a little more. In her later years, she and uh, Charles Weidman moved to New York to create a new movement vocabulary, and the Humphrey Weidman Company, which toured through the United States in the 1930s, was born. In 1940, the Humphrey Weidman Studio opens, and in 1951, Doris Humphrey joins the dance faculty at the Juilliard School of the Arts. In 1958, she passes away. These are some pictures that show examples of some of her iconic works. This is an example of her use of gravity and the idea of fall and recovery and the suspension that happens just before the, the uh, fall. Humphrey's reaching shows that suspension. Her twists illustrate her ideas of movement in opposition, two parts of the body moving in opposite directions. Her choreography, she's excelled in group designs, mass movement designs, and sculptural shapes. In 1945, she begins um, suffering from arthritis. She stops performing, and she then devotes herself to being the artistic director for the Jose Limon Dance Company. Jose Limon was one of her students, and um, it was quite uh, uncommon for another person to be the artistic director of one's company. But um, Jose Limon was, Doris Humphrey was Jose Limon's uh, mentor and biggest influence creatively. In 1958, before her death, she wrote a book, very famous book even today, called The Art of Making Dances, where she lays out her choreographic principles. This is another uh, picture showing that movement is repeated and grows in, sh in size. She refers to that idea as succession. Her technique, uh, similar to Isadora Duncan and Martha Graham, Doris Humphrey uses the idea of tension in the body versus relaxation in the body. And unlike Martha Graham, however, who focused on the tension and maintaining that tension, in the way of a contraction, Humphrey focused on the top portion of the tension or the suspension. She was also interested in the rational part of the mind versus the emotional part of the mind and how those two parts are seen very clearly in movement. Her major contributions are the following. Her fall and recovery technique, the fact that she was the first person or the first artist to fully articulate choreographic methods um, in the book that she wrote, and she was also the first artist to fully use the ensemble in her choreography rather than just soloists. So the ensemble becomes just as important, not just a prop or stage dressing.